This is a short video <clears throat> on how to use the artillery. Today's gun will be a 3 inch U.S. Army issue ordnance rifle. We're going to go over ammunition, how to use the ammunition, how to aim this cannon. Hopefully we'll hit something. First thing you want to do, go to your ammunition box. You got your solid solid shot, case shot, which explodes over the troops. This is a percussion shell. It's a shell, but it's got a percussion uh, fuse on it. So when it hits, it uh, exp explodes. This is canister shot. This is for when uh, large bodies of infantry or any infantry is attacking your cannon position. Because this is for about 100 yards and less. So when you're using this particular uh, case shot, the, the amount of powder determines how far the shell will travel. The fuse length down here in the middle determines when it will explode in that flight path of travel. To help you better calculate this or give you a better example, you can look on the artillery table of every box should have it and it'll tell you elevation range time of flight length of fuse so basically in battle cry of freedom what i've experienced so far we're not going to go over this right here maybe maybe 700 right so your time of flight is going to be two seconds so you want your it's going to be two seconds before it hits the ground wherever you're shooting it at. So you want it to blow up before that over the troop, over the uh, infantry or whatever, whoever, whatever's head. So you want to set that at 1.75. We're dealing with about this, so we'll go 1.25. Right, so now you have two ways you can do that. You can slide this little bar or you can just punch it in here which it's a lot easier to punch it in right there. Then you take that item. Go to the muzzle of the cannon. Right, in this particular gun, we need the tools. You got a bunch of different tools to choose from in here. You've got the hands. You don't really need the these two right here. So far, when what I've encountered, you just need the sponge and the rammer tool. So we'll grab that. Ram that home. Alright, now when you aim this gun, there are two ways you can fire this gun. Two ways you can aim it. One, you can aim it with the primer inserted. Or you can aim it without the primer inserted. So I'm going to go ahead and aim it without. And so we can basically show the difference. Once I'm in this position right here on the trail spike, you hit the letter B. Goes up into this gun sight right here on the rear of the gun on the breech. A, S, and W, and D. Move the gun up, down, left, right. All right, we'll choose that, that huge target out there. It looks like it's uh, not that far away, but it really is. So, the, the table said it has a two-second flight time. I'm going to raise it up. Q and E, by the way, control this. This is the elevated, elevation of, of your shot, pretty much. So you can see the you can see the blade out there. Now I put the top of that metal blade on the end of this cannon right underneath the center of that target. The wind's coming from my right to the left a little bit. And it's a little heavy, so I'm gonna go right a little bit. Just a smidge up. Ready! 
Now, you can see the blade real good in that sight. Now I'm going to prime the gun to fire it. Yeah, that gun hit me, and I was way, hella, way behind it. I know we got to mop it. You see, it has an 11% chance of misfire. Misfire is a nice word in place of the word blown the f up. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Go to the go to the case on. But this time I'm going to get this percussion shell out. This one doesn't have a fuse link. Just a powder link. Powder amount. So this just determines on how far I'm going to shoot it. So I'm not going to go real. We'll go close target. So I'll go 55. Right, now last time I went out, and I didn't have the primer in, and I aimed it. It had a clear aiming ability, could see real nice down the end of the tube. Had to come out of it, hit F to fire, and I got ran over by the gun. So now, I'm already primed. I'm going to go in to do the same thing. Except when I lower the sight, now the primer's in the way. That's NG. But you can still kind of, I mean, if you use the V in the brass at the bottom of that site, I mean, you can still, right? You still level up with that. But the benefit to doing this, I know it doesn't seem right, but the benefit is now I can press left click on my mouse and safely step away and fire the gun. like that you always want to, if it goes back real far you always want to roll it forward again we're gonna mop her All right, for the last demonstration on this video, we're going to do some canister. This is this is just basically a giant shotgun shell is what this is. If you don't know what a shotgun shell does, then you need to Google that. Or we can do a separate video on that, maybe. I know what you're thinking watching this video like Darkwood why are you grabbing another canister shot oh see this one won't let you do it but I bet that one will sometimes you can load double canister on a gun I don't I didn't know if this one would or not but it was worth a try If you're going to load canister, you want to load double. Famous last words, right? Alright, this is uh, representing the Yankee troops coming at me. Run! That's about the range. People keep loading canister in these events we do, and they're, they're shooting canister way out. You can't do that. You gotta let them get close. So I hope this video helped uh, on how to aim this gun, how to work the gun, the types of ammunition, how to use it. Enjoy.